Hello, everybody. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Bill Crawford. I'm a psychologist, a speaker, corporate trainer, life coach. Had the pleasure of writing four books and doing two PBS specials. And this is another in a series of short videos that I'm creating that are designed to help you bring more clarity, confidence, and creativity to everything you do. The subject of today's video is a quote by Sidney Poitier. And by the way, this is part of a series that I offer that's free, where if you would like to subscribe to my quote list, every week I will send you one of my favorite quotes, along with two or three paragraphs about how to apply that quote to life. And now I'm trying to include a short video with it as well. All you have to do is go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com. You'll see a subscribe button. Just click on that, put your first name, your email address, and each week you will get one of these quotes. The quote, as I said, is from uh, Sidney Poitier in his book, The Measure of a Man. And he says, you don't have to become someone you're not to become better than you are. I really like that because I notice how often we find ourselves struggling when we want to make changes in our life. We wonder, is there something wrong with me? Do I need to change who I am? Or am I just fine and therefore nothing needs to change? And I think when we're struck, caught in that struggle, neither one of those answers serve us. For those of you who are familiar with my life from the top of the mind philosophy, you know that when we are coming from this lower 20% of the brain, the brain stem, we may not be at our best. We have a tendency to be stressed and frustrated and angry and resentful and annoyed. We have a tendency to say things or do things or inter interact in a way that often doesn't bring success. However, when we're coming from this upper 80% of the brain, the neocortex, or what I call the top of the mind, that's where we have access to our best. Um, that's where we have access to our interpersonal skills, our problem-solving skills, all the qualities and characteristics that make us good at interacting with others, solving problems, uh, showing how much we love those uh, who are close to us. So what I think we really need to ask is, ourselves is not do I need to change who I am, but do I need to change where I'm coming from? If I'm coming from that brainstem, that stressed, resentful, frustrated, angry, overwhelmed perspective, then that's probably not going to serve me. If I can shift to that upper 80% of the brain where I have access to all of the qualities that make me who I really am at my best, the potential that those qualities will serve me is, is very high. Um, I have a book called Life from the Top of the Mind that shows you exactly how to know what part of the brain you're coming from, how to shift from that lower 20% to the upper 80%, and how to stay there even in the most challenging situations. This is what I teach when I go out and do my seminars on leadership, customer service, stress management, productivity, you name it. And I also have a 10-disc audio system on my store, on my website, that walks you through this process and teaches you the system a step at a time. If any of that sounds, sounds like something you would like or something you would like for your organization, feel free to go to my website, contact me, and we can talk more about it. What I would encourage you to take from this video, however, is that you don't have to become someone you're not to become better than you are. You just want to be become very purposeful about what part of who you are you're coming from. And when you get really clear the qualities and characteristics you want to bring to a situation, and you get really clear, who am I when I'm coming from this clear, confident, creative, compassionate part of who I am? How do I talk to others? How do I interact with the world around me? That's who is going to help me solve this problem. That's the part of me I want to access and bring forward. I think that's going to serve you very well. I hope you found this uh, video helpful. I try to keep them short. I know we're all busy. Here's to you bringing more clarity, confidence, creativity into everything you do. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.